Hello everyone. The most blessed Virgin Mary, when the course of her earthly life was completed, was taken up body and soul into the glory of heaven, where she already shares the glory of her son's resurrection. This doctrine was always believed in by the church and attested to by the saints, particularly St. John Damascene in the 7th century. It has a firm foundation in the scriptures, but it was only proclaimed a dogma of the Catholic faith by Pope Pius XII on November the 1st, 1950, before a crowd of a million people which thronged St. Peter's Square in Rome. Where she has gone, of course, we hope to follow. That is our destiny. In the creed, which we recite every Sunday, we attest to this when we say the words, we believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. But the assumption doesn't mean that Mary is distant from us on earth. Even though the angel Gabriel referred to Mary as being highly favoured, God didn't shield her from human suffering. If anything, it was heightened by virtue of being the mother of our suffering saviour. Standing at the foot of the cross mystically unites Mary with the passion of her son. When the soldier literally pierced the human heart of Jesus with a spear, Mary's heart was also pierced with a sword of sorrow, fulfilling the words which the prophet Simeon spoke to Mary when Jesus was a baby. Mary can identify which difficulties which families go through today because similar ones she had to face, such as doubts concerning the conception of Jesus, being denied a room at the inn at Bethlehem, the massacre of the innocents which put baby Jesus' life in peril, the flight into Egypt, being rejected in his hometown of Nazareth when he was an adult, culminating in the final rejection on the cross. All these things and much more have, must have been testing times for Mary, but they meant that she can empathise with us and help us carry similar crosses. Like her son, the humility of Mary meant that she always put the will of God, howsoever difficult, before her own. But humility didn't mean that Mary was easily cowed. St Paul VI, not long since canonised, recounted that Mary was far from being a timidly submissive woman. Being humble like Mary, like Mary was, doesn't mean being cowed into submission or bullied. On the contrary, she was a woman who did not hesitate to proclaim that God vindicated the humble and scattered the proud-hearted. In our prayers to her, she will surely give us the same courage despite opposition, to stand up for the truth of the gospel today as she did in her lifetime. As our mother, she is there to accompany us on our journey through life and lead us into a deeper union with our son. So, as we do with our own earthly mothers, let us call often on our heavenly mother so that she will keep us on the path which leads to life eternal. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you all. Oh.